Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we're opening a vintage roll of coins. We got a roll of pennies from 1959. These are 59D. And who knows? Maybe they've been searched already. I don't know. Uh, got these back in 2017 from Uncle Bernie. So Uncle Bernie was moving, needed to offload some stuff. This was a lot of extra weight. He had a whole bunch of rolls. I was kind of in a buying mood. I'd buy just about anything back then. So I'm kind of hoping that there's something halfway decent in there. I'm no dummy. They've probably been searched already. I don't uh, think Uncle Bernie might have searched them and then sold them to me, but maybe the person before him. So who knows? So, and if you're not familiar with uh, the burner, he's the uh, originator here of the Burnchester. So, super happy to have one of those. So, let's open this up. All right. So, in case it wasn't clear, Silver to Burn is the channel. So, go check him out. He does some pretty wild pours. He hasn't, uh, I haven't seen too much new stuff, but... The old stuff is epic. So if you ever wanted to see somebody pour molten silver down an ant hole and then retrieve the thing and see the pattern of the ant farm, whatever. Oh my God. Plus I got this and this. Uncle Bernie, come on. So anyway, let's open this up without further ado. So we got the Dr. G special tools here. So, like I say, I'm no, uh, not uh, born yesterday there, so I don't have any, like, thoughts that this is totally pristine, never been opened. And I can't really resell it because I don't know the the provenance, so I, I can't, let's just bust it here. Ender, toner, not so good. Looks pretty uh, mucked up there, but 59D. Looking for mules, of course. Where's my weeder? I doubt that ever really exists, but don't want to bore you to tears. I'm going to go through all these and see what's doing and then I'll come back I'll organize them by by niceties and what I'm really looking for is the repunched mint mark there's a triple D easy there had some triple D stories but anyway um, so we'll be checking for the the one mint uh, or the one repunch mint mark that is recognized by PCGS there are so many uh, repunch mint marks, but there's only that one. Uh, I think it's FS 101, something like that. Let's check it. All right, so checked them all out, arranged them into tiers. Kind of the worst ones up here, the next best. Actually, these are the majority. Um, a lot of them have carbon spots or some kind of problem. Still nice, but not nice enough. So gradually down to the the nicey nicey ones here. So I'll pick through those and see which one might be worthy of something, but 
I don't think anything's grade worthy, to be honest. I think MS67 might be top pop. And there's really nothing that's, um, you know, that. Oop, especially now. Nothing that's all that. So a lot of these do have evidence of like moisture exposure. So yeah, he's got kind of a spot near his tie. So yeah, that one's out. But anyway, let me go through some of these. I'll get the microscope out and maybe we'll take a look at uh, some of them up close and see what might be the nicest. I mean, this has nice luster. I think that's what caught my eye on this one. And really no major spots. So might have scratched the other one up by dumping it around. But And then up towards the top of the heap there, I've got four that might be double dies, or actually repunch mint marks. They're not the triple Ds, but might be fun to check out on the scope. And then the two enders over there. So let me get reorganized. We'll get the microscope out. And we'll see what's doing. All right, here you can see a close up of the mint mark and date. And what I was looking at uh, is this area. This is uh, possibly a repunch mint mark, but it's not the one I'm after. Uh, PCGS only recognizes the one uh, designation, and it's actually a triple repunch mint mark. And there's usually a lot of stuff coming out of the bottom there. I'll show an image uh, to show you what it's supposed to look like if it was really legit. All right, here's another one. You can see kind of a little bit of extra action, but nothing hanging out of the bottom, so it doesn't qualify. But here, let me show you some of the spots, uh, little carbon spots or evidence of moisture. All right, and here's a third example. And yeah, I would say this is a repunch mint mark, but not the, not the one. So on Variety Vista, you can find many, many different examples of repunch mint marks, but you gotta have the triple punch for PCGS. All right, and here's the fourth example I had where I was hoping for some repunching. Looks like something's happening, but again, not quite. All right, and here's one of the Ender coins, and you can see the, <laughs> the gunk on there. So it's a shame that it uh, does have some toning, but not, uh, not in the right places <laughs> and just not uh, not attractive toning and up till now we hadn't looked at the reverse but this is the ender reverse and again some kind of dramatic toning but not not attractive Alright, so as you could see when we were checking for the repunch mint marks, there's a lot of marks in general on these coins. So none of these are really worthy of grading. Even the four that I had set aside, I'll show you some of this footage from the microscope, but I don't want to bore everyone. It's uh, kind of fruitless there. There's a lot of junk. Just looking for spots and scratches. Not too bad. The other side. So I don't know if this one, ooh, little scratch there to the right of the, what is that? Uh, but no, it's not a thread. So, ooh, and we got action. So yeah, this one's out. All right, well, that's kind of an unfortunate uh, mark there, but, um, well, this one is no good, I think, but let's see this side. Yeah, 
this one's disqualified as well. So it looks like that first one is still the best. See, this is, doesn't have that same junk that that last one showed there on his head. So let's take a look again at the one I think is the winner, just to kind of see what's what here. If we still think so, scratch wise. Doesn't have any deep gouges. Those are kind of more luster type gouges or scrapes. So, a little bit of action there on his seat. That's the only thing I don't like there. Right there. And maybe, oops, here. So, sorry jiggling it all around but yeah i think this one here is the the top of the group but definitely not worthy of grading but i will put it in a ooh there's a trouble in paradise so maybe not so all in all kind of a a bummer that I didn't find anything great, but I still had fun. I don't regret either buying or opening these, so I did have a good time for for about what I'd spend to go to the movies. I had a good time. So there's some decent ones for my books and put a couple in flips, use them for giveaways or whatever. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed checking these out and uh, going on my little journey. Maybe we'll do one last aerial view of the coins on my way out, but thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye. Bye.